Hello everyone, hope you're having a magical day today. Sorry for it pogging up with it. We are in Corpus Christi, Texas. We are here at Corpus Christi Museum of Science and History. So let's go in. Here we so much it cost. You can also become a member. And there's the pricing for that. So as soon as you walk in, this is says outbound here. I love how like the details on these faces. And this is Donna Cantelia and Don Pedro. Real people lost their lives in the 1554 disaster. We don't know what the passengers look like, but these figures show the typical dress and physique of 16th century upper class Spanish con colonists. Mm, wow, well, the coins from from back in fifteen fifty four. Wow, nothing like the coins today. I love the like the theming that they do. It's almost like if you are on a ship. is the history how we know historical research details from documents to learn as much as possible about those shipwrecks a major research project was founded by the Texas Antiques Committee the state or a state agency founded by the people of Texas for the salvage and preservation of historical artifacts physical evidence from the sites was roughly dated between 1550 and 1570 that's how we know about the shipwrecks. We're going to go onto the ship here. And it tells about how we need to use it. it. Talks about the compass, which is here. We're going to go inside. Well, this is cool. How to navigate it.
the cannon and even talks about the ship's guns. On this side, kind of get stuck over here. Sorry about that. Talks about the passenger cabin and life at sea. And here's a science center. In this long museum. <laughs> so before all those kids come over here, <laughs> science is happening. So it's a play area, kind of, sort of, but it's all for science related. So it talks about the sand, SiO2. The sand covers the desert is made of the rocks that have been broken down by natural process into small grains. Sand is mostly made up of mineral quartz, or silicon dioxide, which is SiO2. The sand that covers the beach is made up of broken down shells and is made from calcium carbonate. And here it gives the breakdown of CO2. And a breakdown of baking soda. And salt. So this is actually good for like 8th grade, 7th, 8th grade, even 6th grade. The ruby, here's water and soap. And here's the sail. I don't know if you can tell, but it's the sail. And you can, it says push to begin. Cetrosomes are required for the survival of animal organisms. They make cell division more accurate and efficient. During cell division, the two centrioles that make up So then it talks about cells over here. This is really good for, for again, sixth graders. And they have a playground outside. Here's six simple machines. The ramp, the pulley, the lever, screw, the wedge, and the wheel. And that's fifth grade. Simple machines and gears. And they're showing a bike and how it works. Here's talks about levers and this is pulley system. Goes all the way up. They have a bowling ball right there. Look at the motorcycle and even a piano. So the baby grand piano is 450. Four hundred and fifty pounds, wow. The law of action and reaction. This is just like those pendulum swings, except they're doing it with bowling balls. Wow. Here's volume, mass, and density. And you can change out the blocks. Balance the scale. You have fractions here. Ooh, this is actually neat. Ooh, wow. Okay, this is really interesting.
tessellations. Oh, that's what those are called. When you figure out this pattern there. Coming here, it has dinosaur adventures. So, if you can't tell, there's the dinosaur. I don't know which one I'm controlling. Can't figure that out, but hey, maybe it's just me. And we're gonna go into our galaxy. Is there sound in space? Talks about the planetary gravity, gravity on each uh, planet. Reach for the stars. So it's like a climbing here. You can climb up and reach for the stars. Although I don't need to climb, I can just reach them. But that's neat that you have a little rock climbing. The rocket launch trajectory. Hmm. Talks about magnetism here. Gravity and magnetism. So forces of nature, magnetism, gravity. Talks about the North Pole and the South Pole all in a magnet. So now we're going to go upstairs, and if you notice, it says big piano there. When I go up the stairs, it makes the piano music. We're going up the scale, which would make sense because we're going up the stairs. That's pretty cool. But you can get a you can get a look of what they have from upstairs. And they have a classroom. But somebody's using the classroom right now. And I'm not allowed to go play on this, but because I'm old. <laughs> But here's the playground type thing. You can see the slide right there. And you can see the motorcycle and the baby grand piano from here. And so now we're gonna go back down the stairs. And so we're going down the scale on the piano. That's really cool. We're going to go into the National History Exhibits. This is a California Redwood. Pretty big. It's almost as tall as I am. And actually, it probably would be if it wasn't on the stone. Prehistoric predators and prey. Ooh. I love how it's blue, although that's because of the, of the lightning. Here's a T Rex head. How do you measure up? So it's 42 feet long and 13 feet high. Okay, that was scary. I saw those people and I was like, why is she staring at me? <laughs> They're mannequins. That's why she's staring at me. Isn't that just gorgeous right there? Speak. 
specimen guide. So it tells you what each one of these are. Let's see. What is number seven? Shark jaw. It doesn't say which one. But that's a shark's jaw. I'm good. I don't want to get near a shark. So we're going to go back to the left after the prehistoric area is there. And we're going right here. The Battle of Grill Grin. Military engagements. Battle at Palamento Ranch. So the Union Infantry Soldier here. And the Field Nurse is here. And again the infantry. Look how big this area is. So we're going to go, this is Rio Grande Valley Civil War Trail, War and Peace on the Rio Grande, Dress to Kill. This is a Mexican milk snake, Eastern coral snake. So the saying is red on yellow, kill a fellow, is a Texas snake, coral snake. Red on yellow, kill a fellow. Red on black, friend of Jack. So that's red on black, so that one's safe. But that one is red on yellow, that kills a fellow. So I know this is kind of hard to follow how I'm going. I am literally just going anywhere. <laughs> I'm trying to stay on the outside and come back around. But this is actually hard to do because the way they have it set up. Energy for Texans. How we get our energy. So there is four types of energy. We have solar energy, biomass, hydropower, and wind. And sorry, there's a fifth one, thermal, the, or geothermal energy. So five types of energy. So these are, let's see, these are all renewable resources. So again, renewable energy sources. We have solar, biomass, wind. Let me get down there, wind hydropower, and geothermal. I know a lot of people have a hard time remembering that. Or at least my students do. And so that's why I was bringing that up. We have a fake tree here. The roles in the ecosystem. So this would be a good place to come for, for uh, science projects, for getting ideas for science fair. Here's how sand dune works. Anyways, all the wind comes from this direction and it piles up. And you can see how the wind each bro was another time. And coyotes and ground squirrels on Mustang Island. There's a ground squirrel. You have all the different types of birds down here. All 
the seashells, the sand dollar. Hmm. Here's all the different types of fish. Of course, this is not a live aquarium, you can tell. Talks about the migration of the monarch butterfly. And it even gives the butterfly's life cycle. So you have the larva, the pupa, the chrysalis, and then the butterfly. So again, I know this is in Corpus, but this is a really good place to come for a field trip because you can get so much history so much science in all this. We have the oil rig here. It talks about or it shows how it works. Is the oil plant the the fuel and gas station, how they make fuel and all that. You have the different plains in Texas. So you got the high plains, north central plains, east plains, Llano uplift, coastal plains, and the west Texas. There's the front with restrooms and water fountain. It talks about caves in here, what's in a cave. Economic geology. Like I'm just, I keep trying this way because this is massive, like wow. You got your bar stones, got your crystals. So that was my day at the Science Museum here in Corpus Christi, Texas. Thank you for joining me and have a magical day.